So making good time, kind of as I expected to, on Buckeye Road, the old U.S. Highway 85. Speaking of this being U.S. Highway 85, I believe the majority of this is actually Maricopa County Route 85. There are some places where it's actually signed as MC 85. And a good portion of this road, I, I, I think through here it's still maintained by the city of Phoenix. But I do know a good portion of this road is, especially after you leave the city of Phoenix, is actually maintained by the Maricopa County Department of Transportation, as opposed to by the municipalities that it runs through. So it goes into an area where it's in patches of unincorporated Maricopa County, and then you're in bits and pieces of what is the city of Buckeye, and what is the town of Goodyear. And I know the bus stop where I used to catch the, actually not the Buckeye Road bus, but the Van Buren bus when I would take the Route 3 and head into town from GYR 3. I know once you cross the street there in Van Buren, the bus stop I waited at was actually part of the city of Tolleson. So I'm assuming a good chunk of this runs through Tolleson as well. In fact, come to think of it, I was going to say I want to be driving through downtown Tolleson, but actually downtown Tolleson, I think, is on Van Buren. I think the center point of Tolleson is Van Buren and 91st Avenue. I haven't even been looking for warehouse jobs at all lately. In fact, I haven't really been looking for any other jobs lately. I mean, I, I glance at some of the stuff when it comes to my email addresses because I'm on so many different job search websites and they're just spamming me to death. One of them that's really bugging me sends me a lot of interesting stuff, but everyone says blah, blah, blah near Goodyear. And I think it's because I followed one of their fake job listings on ZipRecruiter advertising a job in Goodyear and for some reason it just assumed that I live in Goodyear and I want jobs near Goodyear, which I don't. I wanted that one particular job I applied for near Goodyear. Like one of them I see regularly is that, that it's like Costco is wanting people near you in Goodyear. And I'm like, yeah, Goodyear isn't near me. Goodyear is far. I don't mind coming to Goodyear for a couple of extra shifts on Manolo, but if this was my daily commute, oh, hell no. No, I wouldn't be cool with that at all. Uh, that, that neck chop of incense that I got the other day, uh, Wednesday night, found three boxes of incense in the car, and it has got the, the smell is strong inside this car. Right, I'm coming up on 67th Avenue. I recognize this intersection in the dark from this angle. I've got the QT on the left that I went to so many times when I was doing my uh, whole application process and onboarding process with uh, Amazon, because that happened at PHX. I can't remember if it's PHX 5 or PHX 6, but one of them, it's just directly across the street. So I'm coming up on the left, directly across the street from HelloFresh. And then the Circle K on the right, which I've stopped at so many times. It's been a long time since I went by there, though. There was a Calico cat that used to come up to me over there. I've got this thing for strange feral cats just coming up to me. And the funny thing is I'll go weeks, sometimes even months, without seeing them. And then I go back to that same area and that same feral cat will come up to me. And it really seems like they remember. And who knows if they do or not. You know, who knows what goes in like a cat. But just driving by, I kind of want to go there and get a, get a Polar Pop and see if I can find my uh, little, little calico friend. But I probably have time for that, but I'm not chancing it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to Litchfield Road. I do know there's a few areas around Old Town Goodyear and then wow that guy is way behind that other guy 
that's such a thing now and it never used to be where cars stop behind other cars at traffic lights like two or three car lengths behind them like I literally could have swerved and stopped right in front of him in the space between the car that's directly to my right and slightly ahead of me and the car that's behind him there's 71st Avenue so that's where I would have turned left if I was going to the main HelloFresh production facility it has a letter number code just like GYR3 Amazon where I used to work when I forget what it is I want to say PHX1 but it might be AZ1 I don't remember you know as many times I've worked there you think I know that but yeah I have been definitely thinking about going there in the daytime and talking with their HR and who knows maybe if I don't have anything on my plate next Friday uh, that might be something I do during the day Seventy Fifth Avenue. If I turn right there, I'd be on my way to GYR Three. GYR Three actually on Seventy Ninth Avenue. But Seventy Ninth Avenue does not go through between Van Buren and Buckeye. There's some kind of a little canal. It's like a little canal halfway between. Buckeye and Van Buren that it doesn't cross. But there's a light for 79th Avenue here. I notice the traffic light poles are different when I get this far out on Buckeye compared to the normal ones that Phoenix uses. That's not a Phoenix style traffic light at all. I'm definitely out of the city of Phoenix now. I'm pretty sure that traffic light was put up by ADOT back when this still used to be US Route 85. I'm not sure what your law said designation, but this was US Route 85 for a long time long, long after I-10 got finished. So I am now at 83rd Avenue, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't see it because of the darkness, but, but yeah, the uh, street signs are definitely Maricopa County Department of Transportation style street signs. And the one to my right says Buckeye Road MC85. The top line says Buckeye Road, and the line underneath it says MC85. This is kind of exciting to me. I haven't gone west of 75th Avenue on Buckeye Road in a very long time. And I think this lake will be ending soon. Yes. And as I anticipated, just lots of big warehouses and what look to be big warehouses under construction out here. I don't question that I can get a, a good paying warehouse job and even a, a forklift job in this part of town, but I just want nothing to do with a commute this far from home. And we're reducing to one lane. This sucks. I gotta get that instance out of the car. It's, it's kind of overpowering for me. And I love the smell of that incense, but yeah, it's a, it's a, bit, a bit much. Oh, this isn't good. As long as I'm stuck in traffic. Look at my uh, traffic view. Well, it looks like this is going to ease up on the other side of 91st Avenue, so nothing to worry about. And yeah, Old Town Tolleson. Pretty much starts a half mile north of here. See a couple cars behind me making U-turns. They're like, screw that noise. Wow. And off to the right, my camera's probably not catching it, but the backup on 91st Avenue southbound is pretty intense. It looks like there's well over a half mile of backup approaching this intersection. I expect tomorrow the traffic will be a lot easier. Saturday's never as bad as Friday is this time of day. Now, 6.31 on the Saturn clock. Obama phone five says it's 6.35. Wow, four minutes spread.
time to reset the Saturn clock again. So this is just past Litchfield Road. Litchfield Road is, I believe, 139th West. So if it was a numbered avenue, it would be 139th. looking at an Obama Phone 5 and I just got a recommendation from YouTube on it from the city of Phoenix, Arizona YouTube channel that says city of Phoenix places 585 people I'm assuming it's talking about placing people in housing I believe today was the deadline that they had to have the zone cleaned up by maybe tomorrow morning I'll drive through the zone and get myself breakfast, even though I'm doing fine money wise, get myself breakfast over at St. Vincent de Paul just to get an idea of what's going on down there. Not a word from Michelle since I drove her around last weekend. I'm really bummed out about that, but apparently I made her kind of uncomfortable, and I don't really know what I did to do that. I think it was just that I was kind of getting uncomfortable myself. For sure wearing a face mask made me uncomfortable, so there's that. On my left, Academy of Math and Science. I have no idea what that's about, but it's got a hell of a sign. I just saw a sign saying what the name of the street is, is crossing here, but I don't know what it is. Looks like we're hitting actual new residential developments now. I expected uh, Buckeye Road to stay industrial all the way. I'm not really seeing development, it's dark, but at least I saw some signs advertising new build housing developments. This is 107th Avenue. So many numbered avenues have been renamed out this direction. Like I forget what Avondale Boulevard used to be used to be 111th Avenue or no it used to be 115th Avenue oh yeah and looking up the street sign above me it doesn't say Buckeye Road anymore now it just says MC 85 although if somebody told me to go on 107th Avenue and Buckeye Road that's where I would go and I know most people still refer to this as Buckeye Road even though the sign say MC 85 all right, we're definitely coming into one of the old areas. Oh yeah, this is definitely Old Town Goodyear here. That, that bar on the left has been there as long as I can remember. I remember that being there in the early 90s when I was a cab driver. Ditto for that Circle K. There's 111th Avenue. Yeah, there's a residential area to the south over here. And as I recall, it is pretty ghetto. And it's been there since before I was born. Of course, it used to be far removed from Phoenix, and now, as you see, it's just, you know, all continuous development all the way out to here. There's a Taco Bell on the left. That's nice. So I'm not sure what I'm doing for food tonight. Priscilla bought me a really good big burger. She's been really hooked on lately, and she wanted me to try one, so I did. This, um from Carl's Jr. On the way back from SAS Fabrics, we stopped at the Wells Fargo ATM there at 16th Street and Indian School so I could make withdrawal, pay my rent. They added some kind of privacy screen to that ATM and it was very difficult to see that screen to operate it. I mean, I got it done, but I think I inadvertently hit the wrong button and 
sent myself a text message instead of getting a printed piece of paper. Although I like the way the text message came to me, I might actually start using that option more in the future so I have less little scraps of paper cluttering up my car. Oh, there's just something about a paper receipt that just feels right to me and it's just such a comfort thing for me. But I think if I'm getting all those text messages from Wells Fargo regarding my account in one place, that would certainly be a lot easier to go back through than a bunch of little scraps of paper which get lost pretty quickly. Mostly I just like to see what my balance is after I make a withdrawal. And it's uh, not as much as I'd like to see in that account, but it's not a frightening number either. So I'm pretty sure this is Avondale Boulevard, formerly known as 115th Avenue. Which it's my understanding NASCAR starts very soon. And the NASCAR Raceway, I believe, is south of here. I'm I'm not a motorsports fan, so yeah, there we go. There we go. Avondale Boulevard, great big sign. I'm thinking that little development I went through was like the the old part of Avondale. Nah, that doesn't seem right. I think that's just a community that kind of existed on its own that was never incorporated and probably just got swallowed up by Avondale. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's an unincorporated pocket of Maricopa County that's kind of just its own little ghetto thing. 119th Avenue? I still got 15 minutes to get there, and I'm sure I'm less than 15 minutes away. I'm going to really miss singing and wandering this weekend. Although maybe it'll be the motivation I need to finally get a little karaoke set up, put together in my living room. So I can at least get my sing on at home alone during this weekend. Hey, maybe I get Priscilla to come over there and uh, join me with that and help me straighten up the living room a little bit. Alright, I'm crossing the Agua Fria River and I recognize the uh, train crossing on the right. cab driver, the best place to work is where you are. So if I got out here with whichever cab company I was driving with at the time, whether that's, oh, and this is where I explained where the 85 curves off of the, off of the Buckeye alignment and Yuma Road takes over Buckeye. Alignment. Still seems so weird to me that there's not a traffic light right here. And I never remember there being a traffic light right here, but this seems like a no-brainer spot where there should be a traffic light. And we're about to go through downtown Goodyear. And it might have been quicker to stay on MC85, on up to Litchfield Road, and then backtrack. I'm on Dysart Road right now, by the way. And backtrack a few months from Litchfield Road, but, or backtrack on Litchfield Road from MC85. Uh, this is the most direct route turning left here. Although God knows how long it's going to be before I can make this left turn. There really should be a traffic light here. And this intersection has been annoying as long as I can remember. And I do remember coming here as a cab driver back in like 1992. When I first started working for Yellow Cab. I'd always get busy when I'd get out here. Like, I, I wouldn't try to get out here. But once I get here, I'd usually be pretty busy. Because a lot of times I'd be the only cab driver out here. And even though I didn't know the area well, I, I know how addresses work and I know how to read a map. So. Yeah, not, not much to see in downtown Goodyear at night. 
<laughs> Not much to see in downtown Goodyear at any time, but here it is. Yeah, I think it definitely would have been faster to stay on the 85 and then backtrack up Litchfield. Tomorrow I'm probably just going to take the freeway the whole way. I'd still rather drive slow through areas like this than sit in gridlock on a freeway. Stuff that could never be built with modern sign codes. Always makes me happy when I see places where it's still in operation, even if it is in kind of rough shape. I remember that on the left being a Circle K once upon a time. Now it just simply looks sketchy. And 6.48. I was actually kind of wanting to stop someplace and get food on the way to work, but the last time I worked at HelloFresh, there were food options from Factor, and they looked like they were a good deal, so I think I'm going to try that tonight. I certainly have enough money in my bank account to cover it. Oh, and what I was going to mention, I keep sidetracking and forgetting about it. Um, so the last time I was scheduled to work at Factor, I was scheduled doing food preparation. This time I'm not. Uh, I forget what they call it, but basically sanitation something something. I don't know, it looks like we have a glorified janitor for the night. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I'm a vanilla person. They're gonna, they're gonna tell me whatever I need to know and assume I know nothing, and uh, I'm sure I'll learn and figure it out. Yeah, rather than trying to find food, I have a feeling I'm going to need this full 10 minutes to figure out where the hell I'm going. What the hell is this guy doing with his reverse lights on? Halfway into the street. Alright, there's Litchfield Road. Oh, I thought that other intersection I went through was Litchfield Road. Strip mall on the right looks completely abandoned. You know, this time of day, I can probably just follow all the other cars to figure out where, uh, where Factor is. I'm thinking. I know it's coming up on the right here. Well, I'm sure there's a whole lot of people coming on shift right now. Shit, that might be it right there on the right. such an adventure every time I go someplace for the first time. I definitely took the right entrance. It said factor on the sign. Oh, there it is. Giant bright lights right in front of me. Factor. So yeah, it basically said that I would be washing dishes and sanitizing surfaces. So, whatever. It's work. And the shift pays about 60% more, 70% more than what I get paid over at uh, MLS. It's something like $165 for the night. parking spots are. Mm -hmm. 
see my parking spots on the right. Doesn't say I can't park there. Well, here goes nothing. Thanks for coming with on the drive.